This is Dabu7 covering this story here once again for those that missed it. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is because a lot of what we do on the Underground World News Live is not shared with the rest of the world. And people are not understanding that when we do live streams, they're not sharing them in other countries. If we try to set those live streams as the main video on our channel for people to see when they come, it will tell us, be careful, the video you're selecting is not going to be shown worldwide. That's the censorship that we are dealing with, ladies and gentlemen. So all these live shows that we do and all the talk that goes on in them, if there's very important stuff in there, I got to make sure that I cover it and get it out in its own video like this here with this story so that people do get the information and that it is being seen across the globe. Now, we talked about a lot more than just this topic last night, obviously, and you can catch more of that Underground World News session from last night here on my channel. But one of the key things in that was the fact that we were talking about this new state of matter. And I think it's important that people start to try to wrap their head around this because where we go from here has everything to do with the foundation that they're setting in the motion right now. And I'm talking beyond your fundamental understanding of reality when it comes to 3D in this 3D world we live in. I've talked about CERN, talking about collapsing the fourth dimension into this one and all this other stuff that they talked about. Now we have what they say is an impossible state of matter being heralded as the world's first time crystal. It has been created in a laboratory five years after the existence of these, and pay attention here, after the existence of these fourth dimension atoms. Now you're going to have to start to wrap your head around this to be able to go from here. We're not talking about 3D now. We are talking about 4D. And this starting to work its way in the mainstream science. These time crystals were created using a chain of atomic ions that move in a pattern that repeats in time rather than in space. Now, this contrast from crystals such as salt, snowflakes, and diamonds, which are all arranged in this repetitive 3D pattern. All of them are. So, all this information was just put out in joint quantum or by the Joint Quantum Institute in the University of Maryland. They published this groundbreaking discovery in Nature. Now, there was also a secondary study done with different elements that showed that this was indeed possible, but they did not use the same characteristics that they used in this one. But you can see here from this image how they're kind of they're trying to depict this 4D state. And everything they can do with this new state of matter is, is just mind-blowing. I've talked about quantum crystals. I've talked about uh, quartz crystals. We've talked about how much information and knowledge can be stored in one tiny itty bitty crystal. When you look at the crystal skull and all the research that's been done into that, they say that that thing is holding so much information that it's just mind boggling. And to come to find out the fact that you could store massive amounts of information inside of these crystals uh, changes the game and it's changed how different things function, uh, the battery power to certain things, everything charged with these quartz crystals. But now we're going beyond quartz crystal. We're going beyond the normal substances that you've seen talked about in science before. We're talking about a new state of matter. All the tests, everything that they come up with from here is going to be interesting to see. And how they utilize this in terms of energy, power, and everything else. But it's a good read. They're going to continue to make findings and add to this. But this is kind of like the foundation of 4D here. Starting with the first atom. You need to realize this and see this. And understand how it's operating. How it's, how it's working. If you want to understand any of the other information they're going to be dropping from here. In correlation with this. But uh, it's a good read. And interesting to say the least, I'll leave a link. It's been Dabu7.